everyone, it's Milky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another clothing haul for you. This time it's from the online company Uwu Box, which you might remember I did a video about a few months ago. I'll link that somewhere if I don't forget. <laughs> um, so if you're not familiar with Uwu Box, they're an online kawaii fashion retailer and they have a lot of really cute items and yeah, I'm excited to work with them again. A bit of a side note, but I always enjoy working with Ubu Box because they're super nice. Not to, you know, spill tea or anything, but not all companies are always the nicest, but they're always just very nice to talk to and they're pleasant. And I mean, I know maybe I'm biased, but surprisingly not all companies are like that. Like I've had partnerships with some other companies and they're not always super nice. They sort of sometimes act like, you know, you're doing, like they're doing you a favor rather than, you know, you're doing favor, but that's sort of an aside. In other words, yeah, I guess this is mostly just relevant if, for anyone else who's maybe an online influencer. Um, Google Box is nice to work with. <laughs> that aside, let's, I guess, get into the items. So I chose six items this time around, just like last time, and I'll just go through with them. A little preface, basically everything is pink except for one thing, so if you like pink, this is the haul for you. So the first thing that I got is this wig that I'm wearing, actually. I've wanted a twin tail wig for a while, and I've owned a couple in the past, but I don't know, I never really liked how they looked, or I never liked the color, so I thought I would go nice old school 2012 Lolita and go for a pink twin tail wig, and I am very much in love with this one. Um, like most twin tail wigs, the actually, let me take off the headband so that it doesn't interfere as much. Like most twin tail wigs, these are clip-ons. I'm not going to take them off now because it'll be annoying to put back on, but they're just sort of like big alligator clips, I think is the word. It's probably not it, but like the kind that like <laughs> closed. Um, the base wig is this sort of like shorter pink length that's still pretty wearable as it's by itself, which is nice. I think in the stock photos this looked a little bit longer, but I might be mistaken. But regardless, the color is nice. It's not just like pure pink, there's also a mix of sort of more muted orangey pink in here, which is nice. I think it gives a bit gives it a bit more dimension, and I really like it. And I'll definitely actually be keeping this one because I feel super cute with it and a bit like a Yandere character in a video game, but <laughs> that's irrelevant to the wig. Yeah, they have a great selection of wigs and they always come with wig caps, so if you do want to add some more wigs to your wardrobe, feel free to check them out. I also got another wig, which is the only non-pink item in this haul, and it's this sort of grayish blue shoulder length-ish wig. Um, I kind of wanted some darker wigs to wear because mostly everything I have is pastel and darker is sometimes fun. I thought this would be a lighter shade of grey and kind of maybe more regular ashy grey, not quite so grey blue, but this is a pretty colour and it's very nice and soft and silky, so I'll see how this looks on me. Um, but for now, it seems nice. Yeah, I didn't expect there to be so much blue in it, but otherwise it is lovely. And like from a distance you can't tell at all that it's blue, it's mostly just like darkly streaks in it to sort of add dimension, but otherwise it's lovely look. Now onto more clothing accessory type items. I have this card capture Sakura bag, which obviously isn't like licensed by card capture Sakura, but um, I want to card cosplay Sakura at some point, and I thought this would be nice to bring along with me when I do that. So it's just a cute bag. I probably won't be able to fit much into it, but like my phone definitely will fit in like a small wallet. Yeah, inside it's just pretty simple. There aren't any pockets or anything, but on the back there's a little side pocket which you can probably store like cards in and stuff. Um, yeah, it's really cute. It has a strap that you can adjust the length of so you can wear it on your shoulder or something like that. And yeah, it's just really cute, made of a fake leathery material. The edges are a little bit sticky, I'm not quite sure why. I think like the, um, the stuff they use to finish off the edges might be a bit sticky, but so I hope that'll fade away over time, but otherwise this is a really cute bag. I love all the Magical Girl stuff. The next item is this light pink um, pleated tennis skirt with a heart belt buckle thing. This also comes in white and black, but I already have a white tennis skirt, so I thought I would go for this one. It's sort of a peachy, zemony pink color, and it's made of a nice soft material. Um, this is, I guess, the item that I'm sort of least happy about with the haul. Like, it's very cute and all, but I feel like it's a little bit too small, <laughs> so it sits kind of weirdly. And it was also lined with these, like, shorts that are made of a super thin material, and they're pretty small, so, like, they kind of ripped when I put them on. So I'll take those out because the fabric is really flimsy anyway. Like, I like the sentiment of putting safety shorts underneath the skirt, but if they're made of such a thin flimsy material it doesn't really do much. 
So again, this doesn't quite fit me right, so I'm not sure that I'll wear it. I chose the size according to my measurements. Like, it fits me fine now, but it sort of like sits really high up and is very short. So um, they do offer three sizes for this. I chose the medium. I probably should have chosen the large. So um, yeah, go by the measurements. Don't go by the sizes you usually wear, because usually like Asian brands, they're sort of size smaller than American brands, so if you usually wear a size large, I think the size large would be too small on you. Maybe if you wear like US size medium, that size might be best for you. I don't know, I usually wear a size small, so I thought this would be fine, but it wasn't quite ideal. Maybe it's just because of the fit or something, but it is cute still, and it's like a nice fabric. The next item is one that might actually be a bit familiar to you because I have it in yellow, and it's this lovely little, um, why did I forget the word sweater? <laughs> um, yeah, it's just made like of a pink knitted material with sort of ribbed details on the sleeves. Um, the neckline is a bit wider than regular necklines, and there's a cute little bow and then pom-pom decorations. Yeah, again, I have this in yellow. I really love that sweater, and so I got this. It also comes in like white with pink and then blue with pink. Um, but I chose this one because it's pink and it's really cute. I just think that it has such a drop look, kind of magical girl feel to it. And so I love it. It is very soft. It's basically the same thing as the other one that I have. This one had like a little bit of a, a like a small smudge of dirt here or something. Not dirt, probably dust. I don't know. But regardless, I'm sure that it'll wash out and it's like not even noticeable. I don't think you can really see it on camera, but yeah. And then the last item that I got is this super duper fluffy pink and white checkered sweater. This is really cute. I fell in love with it when I saw it on the website. And it has like little heart buttons in different colors. And it's again super duper fluffy. I think some kind of like acrylic fabric or something. And it's nice and soft on the inside too. It has a very cropped fit, so like it kind of like ends below the chest area. But it's okay. And it's nice and stretchy and I like this a lot. And I think I'll definitely use this in a lot of looks. Because, I mean, in general, most of what I post is sort of like torso up, so I like having cute tops and stuff like that. And yeah, I'll probably have to wear this with just dresses though, because of how it, um, how short it is. So like, if I just wear a regular length skirt and then a blouse, like, this will kind of like, it'll be like a layer of cardigan and then a layer of blouse and then the skirt, and then it'll be kind of weird looking. So yeah, I'll probably just use this for dresses or like super high-waisted skirts, like this pink one that I got. Those are all the items that I got. Overall, semantics. Um, the order took about four weeks to arrive to me. Actually, I think like a month and a day was how long it took. So, pretty standard with these sorts of online cute shops. I feel like last time that I ordered from them, it came in two weeks, but I might be mistaken. And I think that was a bit earlier too, and like, Corona is still impacting things, so that might be a reason. But the shipping time was pretty standard for most of these sorts of shops. And yeah, I'm happy with the items that I got. I'm happy that it's all very cute and very pink. And I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of them. So let me know which item was your favorite. I like them all. I especially like this wig because I'll be wearing it a lot. And I like the pink magical girly type sweater. Yeah, do feel free to check out the blue box if you're interested. They have a lot of cute things. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!